Marcy Feldman's elementary school played a big part in her life. Do you know what letter this is after H? Now, it's her mission. At a reunion, she told her former classmates at Pasteur Elementary School, it's time to give back. And I said, well, that's good to get together again, but why don't we have a purpose? Why don't we do something for the kids at Pasteur? From that, the school's alumni foundation was born. We decided we would come, we would help tutor, we would read. Uh, and we would do something for the kids and advocate on behalf of the kids and see what was missing. I can't believe in the last 16 years how much we've done. Marcy returns to the school every week. I work with two preschoolers, teaching them the alphabet, how to write letters. Um, I read them a story. That Pictures. would be my house. That would be your house? This would be my house. That's one of the things I do. And at the school's career day this week, more than a dozen alumni inspired the young students. The group also provides scholarships, buys new books for the students, and even helped send 29 kids and chaperones to Florida last year to see a shuttle launch. That was incredible to see kids who had never been out of Detroit, adults who had never been out of Michigan, talk about the trip. And her work goes beyond the students. One of our parents, she was able to uh, secure a job for her. She means the world to us. She has such a golden heart. Marcy loves all the memories, but it's the future she cares about. And for that, we honor Marcy Feldman as Detroit 2020's Person of the Week. As a real estate agent, Stephen Reynolds has helped many people move into the city of Detroit. But recently, he's helped even more people move out. A survey done last September found 40% of Detroiters plan to move within five years, but not everyone can afford to leave. I do work with clients who, who are stuck, um, but then um, on the other hand, you do have working middle class people who do have the opportunity to uh, make that move. That means many poor people stay while middle class residents leave taking precious tax dollars with them. Middle class people, I think both uh, black and white, have left, uh, a great portion have left the city of Detroit. The reason, according to the survey and to former police chief Ike McKinnon, is crime. Probably the, the greatest problem that we have right now is this increase or the influx of, of more drugs into the city that's causing so many of the, um, uh, the, the crime problems that we have in the city. Reynolds is not only an expert on real estate, he also knows more about crime than he would like. He was living with his family in East English Village on the city's east side when a neighbor called at work. Steve, do you have anybody uh, doing work in your home? And I said, no, no one's doing work in my home. His house was being broken into for the third time. That was really um, disturbing to my wife, to myself. Um, and we had to think at that time period, what, what was the best decision for us? The decision was to move to West Bloomfield. The family was happy there for four years. But we were missing one thing. We were missing our family. We were missing um, that community feel uh, with neighbors. He says that sense of community is what the city needs right now. It's everyone hand in hand working together, rolling up our sleeves and working to bring the city back. So three months ago, the Reynolds family moved to the Palmer Woods neighborhood of Detroit. They enjoy the tree-lined streets the beautiful big houses, and the neighbors who invite them over for barbecues. But they also see their new home as an investment in the city and the future. And I see a change is going to come. I'm living proof. I'm here. I'm back. 